The purpose of this video is to highlight issues that can cause early life failures when fitting a fuel injection pump, also referred to as an FIP. In this demonstration, we will use a CAT3054 engine fitted with a mechanical FIP. Please contact your local CAT dealer if you need disassembly and assembly or testing information. Let's start by thinking about why your engine needs a replacement FIP. Has the FIP failed? If it has, it's best to understand why before just fitting a new one. Was the failure caused by debris or water contamination? If this is the case, the contamination needs to be rectified before a replacement FIP is fitted. During any rework, care needs to be taken to prevent any ingress or debris into the fuel system. The FIP and injectors are built to very tight tolerances and the fuel is under high pressure, so any debris introduced can cause significant damage. From analysis of return fuel injection pumps, there are three main root causes of failure. Number one, damage from contaminated fuel or water ingress. Two, damage due to failure to unlock the FIP locking screw or over tightening the screw. Three, damage because the low pressure fuel system was not bled properly after FIP was installed, air in the fuel. Taking each one in turn, firstly, when a replacement FIP is fitted, the fuel system should be checked for a cleanliness. This includes changing the fuel filters and draining the fuel tank to remove any water or debris. Care should also be taken to cap any fuel lines that are removed to prevent any dirt ingress. Capping kits are available from your local CAT dealer. If there are any doubts, replace the fuel lines. The second point is the FIP locking screw. The FIP will be supplied to you with the shaft locked. This is because the injection timing is set dynamically. This screw should not be unlocked until the pump is fitted to the engine. The other issue we have seen is over tightening of the locking bolt. Conversely, the engine must not be rotated with the FIP shaft locked. This can cause damage to the shaft and the bolt. The correct torque is only 17 Newton meters. Please remember to unlock the pump shaft at the correct time. The last item is not bleeding air from the low pressure fuel system once the new pump is fitted. Failure to do this can cause premature damage of the fuel pump. The correct process is to energize the stop solenoid and run the electric lift pump for at least three minutes. The engine can then be cranked and started. If necessary, loosen the fuel lines at the injector end, crank until fuel is evident. Stop cranking, tighten the fuel lines to 30 Newton meters, then the engine can be started. Once the engine is idling, it is good practice to fully open the throttle three times in rapid succession. This will clear the air from the advance box. If it's a fixed speed application, gen set or similar, cycling the load on and off will also achieve this. Please contact your local CAT dealer if you need disassembly and assembly or testing information. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching.